Hi everyone, this is Linda, and somebody had asked what it was that you actually get when you uh, download the complimentary Premiere Plus 2 software. You don't get a whole lot, but you get a few things that helps you combine some designs and do some different things that you when you once you download a design from the internet. So I just want to walk you through just a couple of basic features. When you download it, it's going to pop up onto your desktop and then you open it from your desktop and then you're going to see this and it's guides learning center premiere plus to configure um premiere plus to embroidery purchase center and readme files the guides are every guide that's possible for all of the software. So if you want to read through what some of the other modules do, that's a great place to go. Learning Center, even if you don't have the top of the line software, I would highly recommend going through some of those things in the Learning Center because there are some things there that will help you with the software. It's It also ha covers the, the Explorer plugin, which is where you actually get to see all your embroidery designs. When you open up Premiere Plus to configure, it's going to let you check your installation and you're, there's no registration to it because you kind of already did that. Start machine communication. That would be is if you are having issues trying to communicate with the designer diamond, with the Ruby or the SE. So you would want to set that up, but you want, you want it, you could actually go into appearance and you can change some things about the appearance, the background colors and those kinds of things. Not, not that big a deal. You can import, import really is if you're going to import some thread colors, thread cache, you can export and export actually lets you send the designs um, or save the designs as an embroidery file for you to use. And we'll walk through that real quick. Connection actually lets you set up your MySonet account for those that have the brilliance and the epic. Um, we're not going to go through that. So this is basically where you're going to start. Sorry, I'm doing this on an old computer. So it's it's a little bit more cumbersome for me. Um, I've, I've got the software open. I actually can, you'll see you have very few options across here. If you have the other versions, you're gonna see a whole lot more going across the top down here. Now, down here at the bottom, you're gonna, if you try and click on any one of these, you're probably going to get an error. The, all right, so the only things you're gonna have available for you across here, you're gonna get told you can't get to those things because you don't have them. The only two you're going to have access to is configure and then this one which is in the quick font which I did a video earlier on and you can actually go through that. Now what you do have here is you get a couple of designs to kind of get you started. Nothing big deal. Um, they're going to be loaded onto your machine and now this is only on the PC. I didn't do I don't have an Apple so I can't do it on the Mac. So it's going to be loaded under my documents under Premiere Plus 2 samples, Premiere Plus Explorer, and then under Stitch. So if I went back here, I'm in that folder. I'm going to open up the Stitch folder and I'm going to actually open up my animals and I'm going to grab that butterfly just so that I have something. But if I had downloaded embroidery designs from the internet, I would go to the folder for where those are at. So I have this little butterfly and I can do a couple of different things, not a whole lot. I can rotate it. I'm gonna, I can hit undo. I can rotate it 45 degrees at a time. Or if I just want a little degree, if I want to go to modify design, I can actually change the size of the design. It will not change my number of stitches. So I don't really recommend you doing that. But I could also rotate this and say I want to rotate it 10 degrees. I could actually rotate it just 10 degrees. Or I can actually move my mouse here so it actually lets me rotate it. Now I can flip it. I can either flip it up, down, left, right. And this one is left, right. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to flip this guy so he's here. And I can actually move him around where I want him. I can duplicate it. I can copy it. I can paste it. I'm just going to duplicate him. And I'm going to take him and I'm going to move him up here. And I want to flip him the other way. So I now have two butterflies and I can kind of line him up a little bit. So using your grid lines, you can actually do those kinds of things. I can group it. So I'm going to just show you when you go to try and resize or make your design larger or smaller. I'm going to take him. He's got 2300 stitches. If I make him larger, and I'm just going to grab a corner or I can go up to modify design. If I make him larger, it's still 2300 stitches. So he's going to be very, very thin colors um, or threads. And I'm going to just hit undo. 
and I can move him wherever I want to. If I move him out of the hoop, I can say click on alignment and I'm sorry, I move into hoop. It's going to move it into the hoop. I can click on alignment and center him in the hoop. And then I can move this one down further. All right. So let's say they do overlap a little bit. When I go to export it, because remove overlap is taken, is into a, in it, it will remove some of those things. I don't get to actually do a whole lot more than that. Okay, so I can move my designs back and forth wherever I want to. I can actually, um, sorry. So now I can actually do a couple of other things. I can select all and, and delete them. I've got these duplicated, so I want to combine them. So I'm going to combine all, and I can do color sort. And let's say I want to change this pink. It takes it a second, and I want to change it to this baby with this weird color blue. And it would change those things, so it lets me change my colors. I'm going to hit undo a couple of times here. Um, I could actually add another design that's not the same. So I'm going to I'm going to add this design to open. And I want to rotate him 45 degrees twice, so I can hit 45 and 45 and move him over here. And I can duplicate him. And I'm going to rotate him again and put him over on the other side. So it lets me do a few things. Now, going across the top here, you have wizards. Wizards lets you do absolutely nothing. Um, the view tab lets me change my grid and will let me change my hoop, but I can change the hoop by clicking on the hoop up there at the top. And help actually lets me take take me to the help files and help me do different things. So I'm going to go back home. So now I want to take my design and I actually want to get it ready to sew out. Now I can come up here and I'm going to click on save as and it's going to save it as a VP4 file, which is going to save it as four different elements. And I can keep it there and then I can pull it up later and do some different things. Then you can actually click on export and export will combine the design, remove any overlap. And you want to make sure that this is set for VP3 because most of the Viking, many of the Viking machines, older Viking machines did not allow you to use a VP4. The Epic does, but in the older machines, you can't use a VP4. So you need to actually save it. Or if you have a different machine besides a who's far into Viking, you want to do that. Now get there, it doesn't let me get to any of these other ones. I can send my design directly to my um, diamond, my ruby, my SD if I have a cord, or I can actually set this up to send to my Sonet or to my Epic or my Brilliance if I already have it set up. So it's pretty much, that's the other thing you get to do. You get to print them. So if I wanted to actually print my designs, I could actually print them. So I have a template uh, and that's pretty much what you get to do. Not a whole lot, but it does give you some basics in order to download some designs from the internet and actually save them and put two and three together and do those kinds of things. So um, there you go.